The director of Guardians of the Galaxy and the Suicide Squad, James Gunn, was recently announced to be the new lead of DC Studios alongside Peter Safran. What could this mean for Henry Cavill's Superman, seeing as Henry Cavill is leaving The Witcher after its third season? Also, given that Enola Holmes 2 was released in October this year, what other movies and shows will Henry Cavill appear in? Keep watching to find out. What Henry Cavill shows and movies are releasing after Enola Holmes 2? The actor has now portrayed the renowned detective Sherlock Holmes twice, most recently in Enola Holmes 2. Cavill played Sherlock, who supported and learned from his younger sister Enola as she took on her second case as a detective for hire in Victorian-era England in the movie, which also starred Millie Bobby Brown, David Thewlis, and Helena Bonham Carter. Cavill's three appearances as Clark Kent, aka Superman in the DC Universe, as well as his role in Mission Impossible Fallout, are what he is best known for outside of Netflix's Enola Holmes movies. Future roles for the 39-year-old British actor should keep him in audiences' minds for many years to come. Following Cavill's cameo in the post credit scene of Black Adam, recent news of his return to the role of Superman after a four-year absence dominated headlines. Fans of the legendary character will have to wait to see their hero in uniform again, since neither Cavill nor DC has announced when Superman will make his next appearance on the big screen, but the actor will be heavily featured in numerous other projects before then. The majority of the parts on Cavill's upcoming schedule are leading ones in blockbuster-level movies. Following Enola Holmes 2, these are all of Henry Cavill's confirmed films and television programs. We will now get on with the list of Henry Cavill's upcoming movies and TV shows. First on this list is the third season of The Witcher. Since 2019, Cavill has served as the show's principal character, portraying Geralt of Rivia in Netflix's The Witcher for two seasons. The Witcher features Geralt, a monster hunter, in a fantasy world world and is based on the same named book series by Andrzej Sapkowski, which has also been turned into video games. The cast of the series also includes Mianna Burring, Anya Chaloda, Mimi Dwenny, Freya Allen, and Eamon Farron. In the summer of 2023, The Witcher Season 3 will premiere, and Cavill will be back. Cavill's tenure as Geralt will end after Season 3, and Liam Hemsworth will take over the role in Season 4 instead. Next on the list is Argyle. In the Matthew Vaughn-directed film Argyle, Henry Cavill will play the title role, a shrewd super spy whose missions take him around the world. The movie will air on Apple TV Plus in 2023. The movie's stellar cast also features Brian Cranston, Sam Rockwell, Bryce Dallas Howard, Ariana DeBose, Catherine O'Hara, John Cena, Samuel L. Jackson, and Dua Lipa, in addition to Cavill. The movie Argyle is based on the upcoming Ellie Conway book of the same name. Third on this list is The Rosie Project. In the romantic comedy The Rosie Project, Cavill will play genetics professor Don Tillman. The Rosie Project, based on the 2013 Graham Simpson novel, follows Henry Cavill as Tillman, whose previous disastrous relationships with women drive him to create a questionnaire to find the ideal partner. He ends up falling in love with a woman named Rosie, who ironically does not fit his criteria. Steve Falk will write and direct the movie, which is now in the pre-production stage. Furthermore, neither a release date nor further cast members are yet known for The Rosie Project. Next on the list is is the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, which doesn't yet have a release date, will star Cavill and Ieza Gonzalez. The World War II action spy movie, which Guy Ritchie directed, tells the tale of a small group of expert British soldiers charged with striking Nazi troops behind enemy lines. As Ungentlemanly Warfare alludes to the group's distinct method of combat, Cavill will portray the head of this covert organization. The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare is based on Damien Ian Lewis's 2015 book titled Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, how Churchill's secret warriors set Europe ablaze and gave birth to modern black ops. The movie is, therefore, based on actual events. Lastly on this list is Highlander. A remake of the 1986 film Highlander is reportedly in the works, with Cavill cast as the lead after Chad Stahelski personally chose him for the part. However, there is still uncertainty regarding the project's development schedule. The Highlander reboot will be directed by Stahelski, but there is no word yet on a release date or a confirmed supporting cast. Therefore, the project hasn't even begun. 
stars of the first Highlander were Christopher Lambert, Roxanne Hart, Sean Connery, and Clancy Brown. The story of the movie is about immortal swordsmen who fight for ages. Along with those mentioned above, Henry Cavill is also likely to star in a number of more projects in the years to come, given the success of Enola Holmes 2. But for now, this is everything that has been confirmed. Henry Cavill's Superman will benefit from James Gunn's DCEU role. The fact that James Gunn will serve as the DC Universe's primary creative force is fantastic for Henry Cavill's Superman in the future. It appears like Henry Cavill's return as Superman won't be restricted to a potential Superman vs. Black Adam fight. In light of Black Adam's post credit sequence and the surprising news that he has left The Witcher, there hasn't been any word on a Man of Steel sequel or any other Superman-related projects. The Superman moment in Black Adam, however, is merely a preview of what's to come for Superman in the DC Universe, as Cavill himself hinted. Will the next Superman movie be directed by James Gunn? No formal announcement of a new Superman film has been made so far, and no filmmaker has been linked to a Superman project. It is unlikely that James Gunn, who directed The Suicide Squad and Guardians of the Galaxy, will direct the next Superman film in the DC Extended Universe, despite his new executive position at DC Studios, which is a first in the industry given that creators rarely take on demanding executive positions. However, according to THR, James Gunn will continue to work on his own DC projects, including Season 2 of Peacemaker. It is not ruled out that Gunn will helm another DC film or television program. The upcoming Superman film will inevitably be part of James Gunn's vision for DC Studios, even if he does not serve as director of the eagerly anticipated Man of Steel sequel. How can James Gunn's vision help craft a new Superman movie? Even if it's still too early to speculate on James Gunn's plans for the DC Universe, the mere fact that the DC films will now be guided by a unified vision is encouraging for the upcoming Superman feature. The DCEU avoided creating a new overarching long-term plan for the franchise after Zack Snyder left Justice League and all the controversy that surrounded that film. Five years after Justice League, Ben Affleck's Batman was expected to return in The Flash and Aquaman, and The Lost Kingdom despite Michael Keaton also appearing as Batman. Batgirl was cancelled, and there has been no indication that Justice League 2 will happen anytime soon. Henry Cavill's Superman has also failed to appear. After Aquaman 2, the fate of DC's shared world is unknown because no new DCEU film has been announced for the foreseeable future. It is safe to assume that new DC films and television series will be unveiled as soon as James Gunn's intentions for the recently established DC studios become firmer. The DC Universe will have an exciting future with a unified vision and a grand narrative guiding it, not only for Henry Cavill's Superman, but for every aspect of the previous DCEU. For instance, a prospective Justice League sequel might finally achieve the desired level of cohesion for the DC Universe. The Suicide Squad, directed by James Gunn, is what Man of Steel 2 ought to be. James Gunn had previously demonstrated what a Man of Steel 2 should be like with 2021's The Suicide Squad before taking on his DC Studios post. That's not to imply that the upcoming Superman film should have the same tone and tempo as The Suicide Squad but rather that a prospective Man of Steel sequel may borrow some of the Suicide Squad's gentle reboot. It would be a mistake to fully ignore Henry Cavill's Superman's prior DCEU appearances, even though the upcoming Superman film is meant to mark a new beginning for the character. Even though they caused controversy, Man of Steel and Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice developed some of Superman's supporting characters while also defining Superman's beginnings in the DC Extended Universe. For instance, changing Lois Lane character for Man of Steel 2 would effectively be a reboot of the film. The greatest strategy for the upcoming Superman film is a subtle reboot, as the Suicide Squad did. Nothing in the Suicide Squad contradicts the original film, and none of the Suicide Squad characters were recast in the follow-up. Despite sharing the same universe as Suicide Squad, the Suicide Squad has a distinct tone and aesthetic. That is just what Superman needs, five years after his last significant part in a DCEU film. Do you agree that James Gunn, as a lead in the DC Studios, will help Henry Cavill's Superman. Also, which of Cavill's upcoming movies are you most eager to see? Let us know in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.